Hello and welcome to KikiAnimator.com and in this video we're gonna learn how to do bone rigging in NIF Studio Pro. As you know bone rigging is one of the most um, important concept in animation and uh, we're gonna learn how to do that. So uh, before we attach bones to our characters first of all let us make a character. So on the left hand side I'm gonna choose the add point tool and I'm gonna make a simple basic character so I'm gonna start with my with the left hand so I'm gonna click and drag to add a point I'm gonna click again to attach another point to the previous point and so on I'm gonna draw a simple character and I'm just gonna make it quick so that we can go on ahead with the with the um, bone rigging part so I'm just gonna simply click and drag to make the character and almost done with the leg now the right hand side Just press space to join the two join those two points. Yeah, here it is. So I'm gonna color it. So go on to the left hand side and choose the create shape tool. Click on any edge and you can see the whole shape gets selected. So I'm gonna make sure that I have white color selected in fill with black stroke. And I'm gonna press space to fill it. Click outside and here you are. Here you have a character, a headless character basically. <laughs> And uh, I didn't created the head for uh, I mean on purpose, so uh, so that I can explain you one thing later on. So uh, let's just deal with this um, headless character. So I'm gonna shift it to the upper side. So I'm gonna select the move tool, move point button, and I'm gonna click and drag it. As I click inside the shape, the whole shape gets selected, and I can see it does not get fit inside this screen. So I'm gonna scale it down. I'm gonna use this um, scale tool, and when I select it, I have the whole shape selected. So I'm gonna click and drag to scale it down. Yep. Press enter, and you have our shape. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna attach some bones. So let us go to the main part. So go on to the layers panel and click the new layer option, and I'm gonna select bone, and I'm gonna layer it, name it as bone because we are making the bones press enter and now you have, what you have to do is select the layer on which you draw your character just now and I'm going to click and drag it to the bone layer and as I drag my mouse near the bone layer I can see the bone layer turns transparent red and a horizontal bar beneath it when you see that just leave your mouse button and you can see that your layer is now inside the bone layer to confirm it you can click on the rectangle just beneath the bone layer and you can see the layer is inside the bone layer and you can see that there's um, the bone layer has this bone symbol which makes you um, recognize, recognize the bone layer all right so we have our bone layer we have um, shifted the character layer the drawing inside the bone layer so I'm gonna select the bone layer go on to the left hand side and now I'm gonna add bones so I'm gonna select the add bone tool on the left hand side and I'm gonna click a drag to make a bone I'm gonna click and drag to make another bone so basically there are two methods to um, add bones and I'm gonna go through both of them so first of all let us go to the first method and in this method what we're gonna do we're gonna simply add the bones where we need it so I'm gonna add bones for the arm so click and drag click and drag for the forearm again and I'm gonna go to do the same for the right, right arm just click drag and here we are so we have added bones for the upper body part and now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna explain you one concept that we have in bones and that is the child and the parent bone so we have two types of bone child bone and the parent bone and what happens that uh, when you make uh, let me just show you a demo for it uh, so on the left hand side I'm gonna select the reparent um, bone over here so I'm gonna click it and as I click it you can see 
arrows moving out from one bone to another. So I'm going to pick one bone just to show you what that means. So uh, if you see this bone, that, that selected bone which is in red color, you can see an arrow is moving from it to the upper bone. What that means is that the tail of the arrow shows the child bone and the head of the arrow indicates the parent bone. That means this selected bone is the child of the bone to which the arrow is pointing. All right. So similarly, you can see the same concept in every bone. Each bone uh, is having an arrow attached to it, and you can see which bone is the child and which bone is the parent one. And what I can see over here is that uh, this bone right here, this one on which I, I have my cursor on, this bone has its parent as the bone on the other arm. Well, this is not right. The child, the parent of this bone should be this bad bone. So that means I have to reparent it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the tools panel. I'm going to select the select bone and I'm going to select the bone of which I want to change the parent. So I'm going to select this bone and again on the left hand side, I'm going to select the reparent bone and I'm going to select the bone that I want to make the parent of the bone that I had selected right now. So I'm going to click on this bone, this back bone. And as I selected, you can see that the parent of this selected bone is now this backbone. That means I have changed the parent. So now you can see that um, we have all our bones uh, very much paired with the child bone and the parent bone. I have the forearm and its parent as the other bone. And I can see that everything's fine over here now. Now this was one method in which we first draw all the uh, bones and then later on change the parent. All right. Now the second method is that while we are drawing, we make sure that the parent is, um, I mean, uh, uh, we while drawing the bone, we make sure that the parent is the same that we want to. And I'm going to show you just now. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to first of all select the select bone tool. I'm going to select this lower back bone. And I'm going to select the add bone tool to add the bones for the legs. Now what's going to happen that when and I'm going to draw the bone for the leg part, what happens that and, uh, as you draw the bone, the bone that you had selected right now becomes the parent of the bone that you're going to create now. Okay, that means if I click and draw a bone, now this bone, I'm going to leave the mouse button, now this bone is the child of the bone that was previously selected when I was drawing this bone. All right. So that means uh, if I uh, if we have this bone selected right now, and I'm, if I'm going to make a new bone, then this new bone is actually the uh, child of the bone that I previously created. Got that? So I'm gonna uh, I have to make the bones for this layer for this leg. So I'm gonna go on the left hand side select this leg bone tool I'm going to select this bone because the parent the parent of the, this uh, leg bone will be the one that I had selected right now so I'm going to go to the add bone tool and I'm going to make another bone for the for this leg and another one and here we are we have added bones to the every body part that we needed and the time is for the magic now so I'm going to go to the left hand side and I'm going to select the manipulate bone tool and as I do that you can click and drag any of the bones and what's gonna happen right now is that the area lying underneath that bone that area is gonna move along with the bone so if I select this arm bone and if I drag it you can see that the arm is moving for the character and you have your bones rigged cool isn't it you can move any of the bones if you want you can just try on and play with it all these bones are functioning and they are making your character move cool one more thing uh, if you can see this uh, this gray area lying um, around each bone this area is called the strength of the bone or we can say the area of influence so we can change it uh, for changing it I'm gonna go on the left hand side and select the strength bone tool and 
click on any of the bone that, whose area of influence you want to change simply click and drag to make it diminish or grow all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to um, set it appropriate to the area which i want to get influenced by the bone so i'm going to decrease the area of every bone the appropriate size and like almost done yep and here we are so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna mm, this a little bit yeah so now if i go to the manipulate bone tool and if i manipulate i get a bit smoother movement for the character see that so you have your headless character rigged with bones and you can actually make animation with it but if you see that you have uh, you can see the problem i hope you can uh, you identified what the problem is going on the problem is that when you are moving the characters moving the bones you see some uh, strange things going on i mean if i move this bone ahead then you can see that what the hell is happening to his shoulder i mean his shoulder has dug down i mean that doesn't happen in real life you can't make a character like this so this doesn't happen in real life so uh, this is actually not perfect and in order to make it perfect i have made another video tutorial for the improved bone rigging and you can check out that one if you want to make a perfect character in which you can uh, assign the area the point which you want to move as you uh, manipulate these bones in that video we have learned the two more we have learned about two more tools and that are the bind points and the bind layer which is gonna help you a lot to make your character with bone rigging made to perfect and um, I really um, recommend you to watch that video but first of all if you know if you haven't done bone rigging before it's better if you try it a, a bit I mean make your own characters with the basic bone ring that I have just now explained to you and it's gonna give you a bit of you know understanding about how bones work so um, this was all about the basic bone ring so uh, I'm gonna just make you uh, let you know how to um, animate using the bones so I'm gonna go back go to the timeline and I'm gonna select the 12th frame and I'm gonna change the leg like this then I'm going to select the 24th frame and make this one <laughs> like this. Select the 36th frame. This is your own character. I mean, you can do anything that you want. You can make him do whatever you feel like. And now who is that? <laughs> Sorry for the inconvenience. So I'm going to select the 48th frame and I'm going to move this hand. You can see strange things going on and this one also and the 72 frame and I'm gonna make him yeah <laughs> so I think that's quite enough and you have this character now if you just move along with your timeline that you can see that your character is actually moving according to the keyframes see that you're moving character I mean now is the time go and create your own characters add bones to them and make your own animations you're gonna learn a lot by that and make sure that you watch the other video that i told you that's the improved bone rigging and that's gonna remove all these um, all these deficiencies that we are having right now with the bone rigging these strange things happening on none of this gonna happen in that video and in that video also i'm gonna give this poor guy his head also so make sure you watch that video